There is nothing like being in the presence of big cats. Big cats are some of the most iconic creatures on the planet. They're gorgeous creatures. They've inspired humans. They've inspired our art, our literature, cultural beliefs, folklore. Their charisma, their beauty, their courage. You never forget the first time that you've seen a cat in the wild. But the future for these cats is more threatened than ever before. Humans are drastically altering wild landscapes and the animals who live there, placing many along the road to extinction. Time is really critical right now. The wild cats are really in trouble. The biggest threats to the largest cats in the world, tigers, lions, jaguars, snow leopards, are the killing of these cats themselves, the killing of their prey, and then there's the loss of habitat. All of the wild cat species, especially the biggest ones, are declining rapidly. Some of them are plummeting. There are less than 3,000 tigers, fewer than 7,000 snow leopards, and less than 30,000 lions living in the wild today. Everybody's turned against them. So unless we do something serious now on their behalf, we're going to lose some of them. And do we want that? No, I think there are many, many people in the world that want to save these big, beautiful cats, and we're trying to help with that. Panthera was founded in 2006 with the sole mission of saving the world's wild cats and their ecosystems. We formed Panthera in order to meet a need, a huge need, at a time when when so much of the world's spectacular, magnificent wildlife is plunging towards extinction, the most being the big cats, we wanted to speed down the raceway towards pulling back these animals from the precipice. These large cats are also what we call keystone species. Like a keystone in an arch, if you pull it away, the arch disintegrates. And that's what these cats are to our ecosystems. If they disappeared, I think we'd lose an enormous amount of the, of the links and the connections in ecosystems that we don't even understand now. And I think that's a great risk. Panthera brings together a new model of conservation, a new kind of thinking on a global scale. So we don't have to think about global warming or major environmental perturbations. Our model takes into account those things already. Panthera creates conservation programs based on sound science and then implements them through local, national, and international partnerships. All of our work not only involves hands-on with the cats and saving them in their homes, but it also involves hands-on with the communities, with the local people, and making sure that those two are two parts of a whole. This is a critical piece of the conservation puzzle because this is where cats live. They live in these areas where people live too. And often it's the people living on the ground with these cats that hold the future of, of these cats in their hands. In Africa, the main reason the lion is disappearing is because pastoralists with livestock just don't want lions around. So this, the key strategy for us in addressing that is finding ways that, that we can help the community really alleviate the problems that they experience with lions. We have these terrific partners in Kenya called the Lion Guardians, and it, it's a fantastic program where it takes the, the Maasai Muran, the warrior class of the Maasai communities, um, who traditionally have hunted lions. And so they are actually recruited to, instead of kill lions, to protect the lions. So they're trained to really do what they've historically always done, which is to resolve the community's problems, to help the, the community with its problems for lions. A shining example of tiger conservation is in Thailand, in an area called the Hoi Kai Kang, Tigers are in serious jeopardy. But one of the reasons why what Panther is doing in Hoi Kai Kang is successful is because we're working very closely with the government, with the park guards, this protected area, who are out there every single day patrolling these 
key areas for tigers and protecting them against poachers, protecting them against a series of threats. When you do something to save the big cats, you're not only just saving a species, you're saving an entire ecosystem. The most important direct lesson I've learned is that if you treasure something, you can never turn your back. I may never see a snow leopard in the wild, but I want to know that it's out there, that he's there and he's living in this landscape and doing what he's supposed to be doing. I think the naysayers who think it doesn't matter because it's too late are, are really missing the point. It just isn't too late. Panthera is raising the bar on what we feel wildlife conservation should be out there in the real world. And we're not just saying it, we're actually going out and doing it and proving this model, this paradigm can be done and can work. The beauty of Panthera is that when someone gives to Panthera, they know that all of the administration and overhead has already been taken care of. Every dollar that's given by outside donors to Panthera is going into the field. This is really a call to arms from all sectors. Everybody has to be involved. Everybody has to care. There is no substitute for victory. It is incumbent upon us and our generation to not stand by and watch as the great charismatic species of the wild are allowed to be driven into extinction. We can't allow it. We have to fight it. We have no choice. That is our mission. <laughs>